If you ever encounter this error, this video is for you. Hello everyone. What is this error? It's a Microsoft Store or Windows Store error code. You might encounter this error while trying to install an application from the Microsoft Store app. If you have recently experienced this error, this video will give you the troubleshooting steps you should follow to fix it. Several things are responsible for the occurrence of the Microsoft Store error code in Windows 10. This error code may occur due to the corrupted system files or misconfigured system files. Sometimes malware can cause this error or a poor or unstable internet connection. Other possible causes can be corrupted Microsoft Store cache, incorrectly configured DNS server. But although these are the documented causes, you might encounter a different cause from the ones we've listed. Errors like this occur on a case-by-case -case basis and knowing their particular cause can be challenging. So what should you do? Follow these steps. Troubleshoot the Microsoft Store app. The first solution to fix this error code is to troubleshoot the Microsoft Store app using the built-in Windows 10 troubleshooter. To do so, follow these steps. First, select the Start button, type in Settings, then select Update and Security, Find the troubleshoot label, then click on additional troubleshooters, find the Microsoft Store Apps troubleshooter, click on run the troubleshooter, give the troubleshooter time to find and fix the problem automatically. If you still experience the same error after troubleshooting the store app, proceed to the next step. Modify DNS server settings. Sometimes this error occurs if the Windows 10 DNS server is incorrectly configured. Use these steps to check and modify the DNS server. On your taskbar, right-click over the network icon. On the two options, select Open Network and Internet Settings. This will take you to the Internet Status window. On the right panel, under Advanced Network Settings, click on Change Adapter Options. This will open a network connection window in the control panel. Now, right-click on your network connection and choose Properties. Locate the Internet Protocol version 4 option from the list of items and double-click on it. Under the General tab, check the DNS server address and under use the following DNS, just copy the same numbers that I am using. And then you just have to click OK and restart your computer. Once you restart your computer, you should be able to access your Microsoft Store. If this solution doesn't solve the problem, try your next solution. Clear software distribution data store. The Windows 10 Data Store folder stores temporary files associated with Windows Update and App Download or Update History. Occasionally, the folder may fail to synchronize and cause issues in your PC. Here's how to clear the software distribution data store in Windows 10. Press Windows key plus R to open the Windows Run dialog. Copy this text from the description of the video and paste it and hit OK. And then you have to delete everything on this folder. Here's how you can check for Windows updates. Open this window pressing Windows key plus I, then go to the update and security titles. On the left pane, click Windows update. Check for any updates. Let the system find and download the updates, if any, and then restart your PC. Once you restart your PC, try again to access the Microsoft Store app and see if the error has been solved. Reset the Microsoft Store app through Windows settings. Okay, so first of all you have to press the start button, type in settings, and select it. Select the app style, this will take you to the apps and features window. Then you have to look for the Microsoft Store and click it. You can just type in store and then you have to click on advanced options. 
This will take you to this window. You have to scroll until you see the button that says reset and click it. This is the button. I click it, then you have to click again. We have to wait a little bit. And once the process is complete, you just have to restart your computer. Last method. Reset Windows 10. Okay, if all the above methods still don't resolve your problem, you may need to reset your Windows 10. To do it, you just have to go to the Windows icon and click it. Then you just have to type reset. You'll see this icon that says reset this PC. Click it. Then here on recovery, you just have to click get started. You have to choose an option. In this case, I recommend to select the first option. The one that says keep my files. And from now on, you just have to choose an option and follow the on-screen indications. I won't do it because I don't have to reset my computer, but it's really easy to do. So just follow the on-screen instructions and reset your computer. Once the reset is complete, Windows will restart and you should sign in and be able to access the Microsoft Store app. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. As I always say, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. To see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.